Hey guys, Jay Span here. I wanted to let you guys in on a visual representation of what the link wheel was I was talking about. It's kind of a gray hat method that allows you to add more sites to your website or add more backlinks to your website than what's normally allowed by Google, um, especially on a new domain like a lot of us are building for these people. So let's say normally you're just going to add backlinks and point them straight to the website. And these backlinks are places like RSS feeds, Web 2.0, like your Twitter, your Facebook, uh, YouTube, etc. Um, your social bookmarking, your delicious um, social adder, sites of that nature, uh, press releases, and video sites, like I said earlier. Um, YouTube, your Viddler, um, those can also fit into the web 2.0. Um, so here's what the issue is. You go through and you add too many backlinks and Google says, okay, this isn't natural. This is a brand new website. It's getting 100 backlinks a day. We're going to de-index it for a while until we can come back and manually review this and see what's going on. So there's a way that can kind of provide a cushion to this. Um, it's called a link wheel. I kind of like to think of it as a firewall. A uh, firewall sits in between you, your computer, and the internet um, to kind of filter that information out as it, it comes in. It's a barrier, for example. So let's say we're taking the same website. You have your same backlinks as before. But instead of sending those backlinks straight to your website, what you do is you create a cushion around your website with free high page rank websites. So say Blogger, I believe Blogger's a PR8 website right now. Um, you can have a free WordPress, like a WordPress.com, the free, hosted by them. Um, Live Journal is another. Craigslist is just an example. Hub Pages and Squid Old. Now these are several that I like to use. And what we would do to build this cushion, instead of pointing backlinks straight to our main site, we start adding backlinks based on our keyword and linking them to these blogs. So you add backlinks to your WordPress, to your Live Journal, to Craigslist, to Hub Pages to your Squido lens. And then all of these links point back to the main site. So basically you're passing the high PR juice from your bloggers, your WordPresses, and your live journals onto your web page. You're also protecting your page from getting de-indexed. Um, there's a way to even take this a little bit farther by taking and creating what's, this is what's called a link tree. Um, now you can turn this link tree into a link will by just linking from, say, Blogger to WordPress, from WordPress to LiveJournal, Craigslist to Hub Pages, etc. Now you don't want to link from one back to the other. You want to do one direction links. Um, I hope that guys, I hope that kind of helps you guys figure out what's. Um, what some of the practices are, what some of this, what some of the things us SEO people, SEM people do in the background. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment, drop me a line. Um, well, one PS, one tip of advice, one word of advice. When you go out to set up a link tree or a link will, write down everything you're going to do on paper first. Um, what sites you're going to build, how you're going to link them to what other sites, and draw yourself out a little flow chart or diagram because it's easy to forget your place and, and lose what you did. You'll end up backlinking to the wrong side or you'll miss a backlink. Thanks for your time, guys. See you on the other side. Stay classy, Internet.